like cracked out. Like, you know, sometimes these literally look like I just got LASIK surgery. What is up, Daddy Gang? It is your single father, Alex Cooper. Are you ready? We're back! Okay, you hold this. And I want you to show them your wrist. <laughs> and I want you to show them how smart you are. We're about to go to my boyfriend's house. I still feel uncomfortable saying that, but it's getting... Look at the tongue. The boyfriend, the boyfriend, the boyfriend. Laren's leaving me tomorrow. Tell them where you're going. Um, so I'm going to Chicago tomorrow. It's my college roommate's birthday. We lived together all four years. She has no idea. Her boyfriend bought me a ticket and emailed me a ticket this morning. So I'm jumping on a flight tomorrow and she has no idea and I'm gonna surprise her. That's She'll probably cry. really cute of the boyfriend. Right? So you'll miss me this weekend. You're gonna miss me while I'm gone. Oh, I'm gonna, I have You're gonna so miss many me things everywhere. planned. Oh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. Good morning, everyone. Lauren and I had fun last night, and now it's time for Lauren to leave. She's about to leave for the airport. I don't get a carry-on. I don't get a check back. I've never heard of that in my entire life. So I have to fit everything for four days into this bag. I put it back really small. I know. Just wear the same. I'm just gonna be looking ugly and unstylish in Chicago. Okay, so you're packing. This is a green juice, and I know what you were all thinking. Alex, who's holding you hostage? Currently, no one. It's actually my doing. It's the craziest thing. So I'm trying this fucking thing I found on TikTok, which is water, cucumber, pineapple, ginger, lemon juice, and water. And it's been kind of miserable, but we're trying it. It's day two of it. I also have a pimple, meet my friend. A weekend without Laren, what am I gonna do? You're gonna miss me? I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll really start reading all my books that I've been putting off and you know, just getting in shape. Hello, is that you guys? Hi, good morning, it's currently 10.23 and I'm getting ready for a business meeting. Who is she? You know, we're just talking about things that are coming up for the show, like big things, like what's gonna happen to the show. You know what I mean? Like those big conceptual things. So very exciting stuff. I have a couple things that I wanna do today. I actually, for the first time in my life, really got influenced. I saw a girl using this and I was like, maybe these waves are coming back. So I wanted to try this cause I haven't tried it yet, but it could be the biggest disaster or could look so fucking good. So I wanna do it when I kinda of have no responsibilities and I can just sit in my house and look like a crimped bitch or look like a goddamn mermaid swan woman. I also am trying to be somewhat of a good girlfriend. My boyfriend's birthday is coming up. I wanna take him like to a weekend in Palm Springs on me, mm-hmm, sugar mama. So that's what I'm gonna do today, curl my hair, make um, a reservation for Palm Springs. Also, I just wanna show you like really big podcasts Cast. doing pretty well this is where the call her daddy equipment gets stored when it's not a recording day maybe it's time to get a little less janky with it gotta go other than that things are going well and we'll talk soon I just was thinking about the last thing I vlogged and I realized that I was saying I'm gonna be so productive today I was going to do that thing to my hair clearly didn't try it I was supposed to make a reservation for my boyfriend, didn't do it. A lot of things, and I didn't do anything. What I did is I went shopping. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. And I don't know exactly how I feel about it. It's like not done enough, so like parts of it still look frizzy. If I did it well enough, oh my God. See, I feel like it looks worse in this video. People are gonna be like, like, I look a little bit like aquamarine. Is it fucking hideous? No, like, it's not, but it is. <laughs> it looks a little raunchy donchy. Like, what do we brush it? That wasn't the right decision. <laughs> That made it look a little puffy duffy as opposed to raunchy donchy. Now my hair just looks puffy and dead. That's just, <laughs> that's good because I have dinner with my boyfriend and another couple and I guess I'm going as aqua girl. Wait, does it really look that bad? Let's go into a different mirror. Let's go into this mirror. 
Mm, actually worse. <laughs> Let's go into this mirror. Oh my God, like heinous. <laughs> Wow, my boyfriend's about to roll up here in a few minutes and he's gonna be like, oh my God, did you get electrocuted? This is the lesson. I said I was gonna do this earlier today so that I didn't have an engagement to go to and I wasn't gonna look like an idiot. I just went to film and I just want you to witness what's happening on my, on this uh, spray tanned arm. <laughs> okay. This is what's happening on this lovely, lovely, what day is it? Sunday? Tomorrow is Monday and I'm interviewing Hannah Burner. She's been like an OG guest on Call Her Daddy and she got engaged. <laughs> Way to go, Hannah. So happy for her, but there's so many questions because when she came on my podcast, the first ever time she came on, we were both so single. Couldn't have been more single. I need to fuck the next thing closest to an athlete, but not an athlete. Yes. And that's the mascot. <laughs> then the next episode we did months later she was had a full boyfriend and i was in the talking stages with my now boyfriend so we were both kind of getting towards that like oh wow we're in serious relationships today hannah is sitting before me in love the progress <laughs> No, I guess for both of us. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm not where you are You are yet, but, like, how do you feel? Well, like, no are, relationships are the same. No. Honestly, like, I feel kind of happy. And, like, lately I just have this excitement of, like, being with this person and learning about this person. But I also don't – you never know what the future holds. Right. And now this is going to be the third episode we've ever done together, and she's fucking engaged. I'm writing an outline for the episode right now. Oh, I just, hold on, just reminded me. Over 50% of marriages end in divorce. Are you going to be a statistic? Is that mean to ask? No, Hannah will love it. And then I just downloaded an audiobook. Do I sound fucking smart as shit? Mia Khalifa is coming on. And then there's one guest in my DMs right now that said she's down. I'm waiting for her to like confirm if she's like actually down. And that is gonna be, we're very similar on the internet. Let's just say that. So stay tuned. All good things are coming for Call Her Daddy. I'm so excited for these episodes. I'm gonna go to dinner with Mia Khalifa on Friday. We're gonna like hang out, talk about the podcast, and then Saturday we're gonna film at her house. So that will be exciting. Getting shit done on this Sunday. But I just wanted to like give you an update in case you guys were wondering. Good morning. Now I have my Hannah interview in like an hour and I'm trying to set up. I'm doing a Zoom. I need good internet connection, so I need to be in here. And so I take this chair, put it here, beautiful. These pillows, stack them here so that I can put my computer up here so that I can interview here. Okay? Now the issue is that I have nothing on these cabinets. It looks pretty bleak. I'm a little freaked out because someone tried to break into my house last night. That's another story that will be coming soon. So I've been staying at my boyfriend's house for the past two nights while Lauren extended her trips. So there's no fucking way you could pay me to sleep here by myself, okay? And, you know, I trust no one. For all I know, these little beady eyes are cameras. So that's that. I need to put on makeup and decide what I'm gonna wear. So I'm all set up. We have my computer, this little dinky winky. We have this little jibber jabber and we have this little Canuck and then this mahogany one. <laughs> I definitely did a little bit more eye makeup than I usually do. Let's go into the sun so we get like a nice little Alex Cooper glow moment. I would never wear this in public. Like it looks a little crazy when you're like in person with me, but on camera on Zoom, I just checked it out and like, fuego though. I'm wearing this cute little top from Zara and I actually got it in a matching little blue color. It's like a kind of like a cropped polo. Whishy. It's very cute. You can wear it with like jeans and it was $12, which we love. And it's like super cute, right? Super cute, right? This is a collared shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is not something you will ever fucking see me wearing. Also, let me show you this. 
Holy shit, what is that? Well, it's not built yet, but basically it's going to be couch so that we can use this outdoor fireplace. The reason I just ordered that was because to my mom is coming to town. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in quite some time. <laughs> I haven't seen my mom in a really long time, so I got that outdoor furniture so we can hang out, and then I also just got a bed for the third bedroom because my mom doesn't want to sleep in the same bed as me. I'm like, mom, please cuddle me. And she's like, get out away from me. No, I'm just kidding. That's She would probably want to sleep with me, but I'm like, mom, we can like, you know. So I just got this like bed from Ikea, and Lauren came in and tested it and said that it's more comfortable than her own mattress. Do you guys want to see Lauren's room? Oh my God. Welcome to the wild, wild west. We'll just, we'll just do that for now. Okay, I decided I'm gonna make myself a coffee before this interview. I wanna be like cracked out. Like, you know sometimes, these literally look like I just got LASIK surgery. I want to be in the zone so lit, litty titty, that I like just start blacking out and I say like stupid shit. Welcome to my crib. Okay, let's make ourselves an iced coffee. Ice! Cooking with Alex. You know, it's been quite um, weird without Lauren here. I mainly don't like it because I always feel like I'm gonna die. That's a lot of fucking almond milk. Bone apple tip. If you're watching this and you haven't listened to the Hannah episode yet, you're an asshole. Go listen. My bitch got engaged. So once he says he wants to marry you, he needs to put his money where his mouth is. So you need to just start texting him links to rings. <laughs> I'm dancing, you guys can't see me, but woo! That's a bigger issue. If you haven't been sarcastic in your relationship, you're missing out. When you are sad, then all of a sudden you kind of get horny. Is that, <laughs> is that a thing? If you're moving in with your fucking boyfriend, you stupid slut. Like I went wedding dress shopping, got the first wedding dress I tried on. What? Degenerates are people too, yeah. okay? That's what we're trying to explain. <laughs> Three hours later, the recording is finished. Hannah and I just talked so long that I literally had sweat marks where like my thighs were crunched. Okay, no one cares. The episode was so good. We talked about shit that we've never talked about on Call Her Daddy. You wanna know what I'm doing right now? Leaving my house because I'm too afraid to sleep here alone. I'm going to my boyfriend's house. I'm bringing snacks over to his house because I have to. I'm like, I'm bringing my own snacks to the party thing. Let's go to the boyfriends because we're such pussies. Guten Tag! It's me. Last night was amazing. Went to Mia's house, had dinner. Sorry, I didn't film it. We just went over basically everything that we wanted to talk about and touch on on the podcast. I wanted to make sure that she felt comfortable and she shared with me what she wants to talk about, what she isn't comfortable talking about. Then we just like drank and ate food together and made some TikToks. Father? Father? Mia? We'll see you fuckers on Wednesday. Hello, I'm here with your founding father and we're gonna see who can take a shot of tequila without making a face. Okay, ready, ready to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's amazing and it was funny because, you know, I don't know that many people in LA still and it's cool to now have someone that I may be able to, you know, make a friend out of. So we're going to Mia's house again. It's the day of, so let's hit the road, Jack. I wonder if I have a wallet or anything. No, okay. That's great. Like, where the fuck is it? Is it in here? Just in case I need to, you know, pay anyone off. Oh, here we go. Okay, I will see you at Mia's house, goodbye. So we've got about three dogs with us today. Five person interview, here we go. So if you guys hear any barking in the episode, it, it was wasn't Mia. <laughs> I opened his laptop to connect to Wi-Fi and watch Netflix or something. Oh no, it's always loud. And I see iMessages start <gasps> Here we go, oh wow. Guys, are you excited for your interview? Say something. Be nice to my mom. Oh my oh! gosh. Shit is getting serious. Wow, it's like very exciting. Your name is on it. <laughs> Did you see that? Hey, Marker. 
Nia Khalifa. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy to be here. I had a relationship with a guy who was very curious about being the woman in the relationship yep. and dressing the part, acting the part to the extent of me pegging him and right. me playing the part of the man. Being by yourself in that moment, having no one to turn to, no girlfriend you can call and cry to, like, who were you crying Literally to? myself in that little efficiency on the Ikea bed. I spent so much time in my room just crying or going for drives because I felt pretty free. I was alone most of the time. I was scared to go to the grocery store. I was scared to go do laundry. I was scared to go do anything that required me getting out of the confines of either a car or my four walls because I had already been at that point followed to my car. Death threats, rape threats, at the time being banned from my home country. Like them literally saying, you are not welcome back on our soil. Like all of these things that made me feel like, like I, f I feel alone globally, not just like, oh, I'm lonely. <laughs> hey, man, it, it, it made me grow up very fast. Yeah. For better or worse, it made me grow up. <gasps> I love you. I love you. Hey, how long was that? Holy shit. We just finished the uh, interview. Appreciate it. Went well. And you were so well behaved. It's a Tuesday right now. I'm about to release the Mia episode at midnight. I've been kind of going over it the past few days, recording my ads, getting an intro ready for her because it's just been like the most rewarding episode, but it's, I'm trying to be obviously very respectful. The topics that we are talking about in this episode are extremely sensitive topics. And so I want to make sure that I'm obviously doing Mia's story justice, etc. So I've been working on that a shit ton and I had to, I was editing um, at Mr. Sexy Zoom Daddy's house and then <laughs> I just raced home because for some reason my computer doesn't work on his Wi-Fi and it's about to be two o'clock and I have a business meeting that is, you know, just a pretty semi big business meeting. I am in editing mode, which means my brain is like introverted, like staring at a screen, not speaking. I've been up since 730 in the morning and now I'm having to be like, hello and really put on a performance. So you know what, guys, this is the life of of the business women that we are daddying. I'm gonna go crush this meeting. I'm gonna do some jump, maybe let's do some jumping jacks. Maybe let's just jump. I don't have a bra on, so I'm just gonna hold my boobs. Woo! 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 We're gonna crush, we're gonna crush. Crush, 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 crush. Woo! 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 Come and join the party, guys! Okay, hi guys. You guys last saw me and I was Editing the Mia episode, it has successfully launched. The episode did so well on the charts, but more importantly, it did so well with regard to your feedback. I was so happy because Mia and I were texting and she was just like, holy shit, it's so nice to see the daddy gang in action with regard to like actually having my own episode. Like the daddy gang can be scary. And she was just like, it's kind of cool to like have my own episode now and see how amazing they are and how loving they've been and how supportive they were of my episode and my story. So thank you guys so much for giving her the support that she absolutely deserves. She's an unbelievable, incredible woman. The episode was such a rewarding moment, I think for both of us. So thank you guys. If you haven't listened to it, make sure to go listen to it. I'll put it linked below. Now though, however, this is just how the job works. We're on to the next week. We're on to the next episode. Mia, I love you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, and so happy I made a friend in LA. The next week's episode, let me tell you guys a little bit about that. Next episode is going to be a little thing that I like to call call her daddy spring break. Obviously with COVID right now, nobody can really go on like a normal spring break. Why not try to give the daddy gang a semi like spring break episode? And I'm gonna tell some ratchet fucking stories about me on spring break. And then I also had the daddy gang write in a shit ton of their personal stories. Some of them were so out of control. Some girls were like, um yeah, like fucking the guy to just like see his penthouse or literally fucking my Uber driver. Oh, I don't know, like having a guy eat Doritos out of my ass on the beach in front of the entire spring break community. Like we love to see it, Daddy Gang. We really truly love to see it. And who better to have on my spring break episode than one of LA's biggest degenerates, 
Harry Jousey. So I'm gonna be meeting up with him tomorrow and I'm gonna text Hannah, see if she wants to come by, but Harry's definitely gonna be on the episode. And we're gonna just talk about the debauchery that is us drinking, his experience going to university in Australia versus going to college in the United States, like all the things. So I'm very excited for that episode, so you guys make sure to go listen to that this upcoming Wednesday. And then I guess I'll see you guys next vlog. Sadly, Lauren's not here still, but by next vlog, she will be back. Goodbye.